Superintendent of the Pittsburgh Public Schools is telling City Council he's committed to the success of students with the new school year approaching. Amy Wattis has more on the planning. A big topic brought up during today's two hour meeting, how to close the achievement gap between black, brown and white students as they head into the school year this fall. Superintendent Dr. Anthony Hamlet says the district is looking into many ways to close the achievement gap. Things like year round and Saturday schooling were mentioned to make up for learning loss due to the pandemic. It, it, everything's up, up in the air right now. We definitely have those conversations, look at the research when it comes to the effectiveness of year round school. But one thing I want to put in the space around year round schools is that the children, regardless of how you space it out, currently right now, they still will attend 180 days. Another topic discussed, collaboration. I'd like to see more collaboration with the athletic associations and groups that already are working with kids. Some things Dr. Anthony Hamlet said students and teachers can expect for the fall, projectors and whiteboards. On top of that, we need to uh, upgrade upgrade our networks to make sure they're running efficiently and there are no, there's no downtime in our broadband access. Staff and student computers. We're pretty much a one to one district at this point. Meantime, COVID wasn't far from Councilman Bobby Wilson's mind with COVID cases on the rise. Especially with children under the age of 12 that aren't vaccinated yet. Um, we still have yet to see that plan of how that will be rolled out uh, once it's approved. The school board is expected to finalize its health and safety plan during its meeting tonight. That meeting is going on right now. We will let you know what happens in our later newscast tonight. Reporting downtown, Amy Wattis, KDK News.